Good morning everyone. So a few people have asked me to do like a sort of a day in my life. I guess especially parents are quite interested to see how us adults with nephrotic syndrome live our daily lives. Currently I just want to put a disclaimer out there I am kind of in remission I guess. Um, I'm on 40 milligrams of prednisolone and I am sensitive to steroids so it does mean that whenever we bump up the prednisolone i am kind of like no longer leaking protein i am also on rituximab if you haven't seen those vlogs then do go check those out i will try and leave the links down below i started that treatment about a couple of weeks ago well this weekend's been really busy for me and today is going to be another busy day so i thought why not vlog today because it's going to be probably one of the most interesting days during lockdown so i'm just currently making my breakfast i'm gonna have some oats as usual and then i have a class at half past nine it's currently half past eight in the morning on sunday <laughs> is done it was definitely a lot hotter than i thought nearly burnt my mouth off but we move on i feel like in these vlogs it's really hard to kind of keep up with what is going on with my health situation well i mean even for me it's hard to keep up but the main updates do actually happen over on my instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram then do go follow me over there because a lot of my health updates i do openly post on there about different medications and everything and whatnot and then i will always take it with a meprazole so I don't get a stomach ache. I always try and take my medication first thing in the morning just because I am on 40 milligrams. And if I take it, I find if I take it past like 11 a.m., I don't really get a good night's sleep. It like won't matter how tired I am. I will literally lie there until like midnight. Like say if I crawled into bed at 10, which is the dream, let's be honest, I will still be like my brain will still be fully functioning by 12 and i just cannot sleep for some reason and it's just a nightmare so i try and take it as early as i can right now it's quarter to nine so cheers oops never forget to moisturize guys always use your moisturizer i feel like if i don't use moisturizer my face is literally like the desire desert so dry growing up as a kid i used to have really bad eczema I feel like it's a lot more common than I think. I feel like it's just something I cannot avoid having dry skin. I do feel like over the years of being on prednisolone, it has made my hair super curly for some reason. And I know a couple of other people who have reached out to me who have also said that it's made their hair curly. And I'm not complaining, like I love my curls so much. But it's just very strange, like isn't it bizarre how a medication can make your hair curly or straight or anything like it's really weird i haven't really done much of my own research into it because i wasn't really that bothered to be honest but i might do some research just to see if there's anything behind that or if any of you guys know why prednisolone makes your hair curly or if it's just me and a couple of handful of people who have got curly hair from it then do let me know because i am very intrigued actually but to be fair I was thinking about it and this time last year, by the way, I have to go on my tiptoes because the mirror is like, I'm so short. It's really weird because my hair has gone on such a big journey. I don't know if any of you OG people have seen my videos from the beginning, but like, for example, I sometimes see my old videos and my hair, like it's in a bad state. Like, I think the first time I was ever put on prednisolone, I just didn't realise it was going to do all that damage to my hair and actually it was worse when i was tapering off the steroids purely because i found that my hair like fell out in like clumps in the shower when i was tapering not when i was on them but when i was tapering it's really weird So this is my current setup. If you didn't know, I am actually a professional performer. That is what I do when we're not in lockdown. That's what I've always known. I've been dancing since the age of four. Um, I mean, if you want a video about me and my actual life, other than nephrotic syndrome, then let me know, I can do that for you. Obviously, I am not performing right now. 
theatre isn't really a thing. I'm really lucky to do an online musical called On Hostile Ground and that is currently like slowly being released video by video. I will leave the link to that down below if you want to check those out. I was in Six the Musical, I played Catherine of Aragon. That was great, that was my first job out of graduation. I had a whale of a time, I met some of my bestest friends on that ship. I am currently about to do a tap class. This is just to basically hopefully get a tap qualification for teaching so that I can have a little side hustle. This is the joys of doing online classes. I actually have my laptop down here for Zoom. And it's just really awkward because I live in a block of flats and I live above someone else. So I always feel so bad for my neighbor every time I'm tapping because literally, like that is loud. It, I, I know that he's gonna get pissed off, but there we go. By the way, this water bottle is the best thing I ever bought. It reminds me to drink water. I will leave the link down below because I got this from Amazon and it is bloody amazing. I will catch you guys in two secs. I just finished my class. I am quite tired, I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday I was mega tired, like so tired. This morning I was fine, but after that class I'm a bit like, woo! I think that was just a lot of information. And I'm really grateful that I made myself some stuffed dates. They're essentially like a different version of a Snickers bar. If you want to know the recipe, it, again, it's on the Instagram, you can go check that out. I am going to make myself a late lunch. I think I'm going to have, I've got some bagels, I've got some salmon. So I feel like I'm going to do myself a cheeky salmon bagel, I think. Lunch is done, it is served, and I actually made a reel. So again, go check that out over onto my Instagram. If you're ever curious about what I do eat, I post these things on Instagram. I don't really tend to post them on YouTube. If you're wondering what the behind the scenes looks like of making a food reel, it is a mess over there. I will quickly show you. As you can see, I've got all of my ring lights set up and all the stuff that I needed and just, yeah. I'm gonna eat first and then I'll clean up. It's now three o'clock. Two hours have passed since I ate my food and I have just literally finished writing down all of my teaching notes. I'm definitely gonna go on a walk later, obviously, because I am doing the 850 step challenge for Kidney Research UK. Again, thank you so much for everyone who's donated. It has been insane the amount of money that we've raised so far. If you'd still like to donate, then I will leave the link down below. But for now, I need to tidy my living room and just hoover the whole flat. I hoover maybe like three times a week. To some people that might be a bit excessive. However, I'm actually allergic to dust mite and all of that jazz, got hay fever, and I know that when it is that time of the year for allergies, especially last year, I realised being back at home instead of living in London, obviously I live in the countryside, so there's a lot more pollen everywhere, and my hay fever was awful, and I feel like that didn't really help my whole relapse situation, because obviously nephrotic syndrome is an autoimmune disease, so me having hay fever doesn't help, because... <laughs> It's like my immune system attacking the allergy, but then it just like makes me have a relapse. It's really weird. I'm going to hoover religiously throughout the whole flat, just tidy and just make the space a non-classroom situation and just clear everything away. <laughs> Everything is clean and tidy the way I like it. I have a couple of things left to do on my actual to-do list. I don't know if I already mentioned, but tomorrow I'm having my second rituximab treatment. So I need to pack my hospital bag. If you're interested in my rituximab treatment, I do already have a vlog out on the first one. So yeah, I'm gonna pack my bag, go for my walk, and then come back and make my dinner, which will also be my food for tomorrow so i'm just gonna make a little bit more and then that's my dinner sorted for tomorrow as well try not to look like a weirdo vlogging in public hopefully no cars come past but even if i wasn't doing this walking challenge i do always feel like going for a walk or at least getting myself outside once a day every day especially during lockdown really really helps with my anxieties and it's just nice to get outside really isn't it like i just feel like i could spend all week inside and not even realise. So just a bit of fresh air. It's just a bit nice, isn't it? Again, if you didn't follow me on social media, 
then I actually ran a 5k last Wednesday. I still cannot believe it because I don't run. I don't run at all. But you know what? After I did it, I felt really good. So I'm really debating whether to just carry on running and maybe start that and make that a thing. So I'm hoping that I have the courage to go running a lot more. I just had this fear of running for some reason. I had a lot of back injuries in the past every time I ran. But I have these new trainers that my mum got me from ASICS for Christmas slash birthday just gone. Might become a thing, don't know. Is Jazz gonna be a runner in 2021? We don't know, we will see. <laughs> just made an Instagram reel on how to make this risotto so if you want to know how I made it go check that out on my Instagram it's at Jasmine Shen and I'm literally just in time to catch my girl Kelly Sweeney uh, do her thing and she is doing a performance with Barn Theatre so I'm gonna watch that for the next half an hour and I'm gonna enjoy every single second of it. I feel like all I've done today is tap and make food reels um, I just made these oats uh, they are for my breakfast tomorrow since I'm getting up really early. So, again, if you want to know how I made these, head over to my Instagram. It's going to be on there. Well, that was a good start. I never know how to vlog in bed because the lighting is awful. Like, if I'm here, I have my bedside lamp lighting my face. But then if I'm here, you literally cannot see anything. But then it's more comfy. So... I'm not even sorry, I'm just gonna vlog from here. I have made it to bed, finally. It is half past nine, exactly. And I've had a really long day, a lot has happened. Usually I would try to aim to get into bed at about between nine and 10, but particularly today, just because I'm getting up between half five and six tomorrow, ready for my rituximab treatment. Gotta leave really early. So I live a good drive away from the hospital. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the vlog here. And I hope you guys enjoyed a day in my life. Again, my weekends are the busiest for me. It's like my life is backwards because I am self-employed. And I guess I tend to choose when I work, as it were. I mean, I'm not getting paid to do any of this. But as in like to be productive and have like work days. And that always tends to fall between like Friday and Monday to me and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is like my three day weekend, technically. Like I said, all the food things that I've made in this video today will be on Instagram, so do go check that out. Instagram is underscore Jasmine underscore Shien. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload, you know that I've uploaded so you don't miss a video. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna wind down for the night, edit some videos, edit some reels that I made today to upload. And yeah, just thank you again for coming on this journey with me and I will see you in another vlog. Love you lots and good night. Mwah.